Uranium and plutonium are the main fissile materials used as fuel in nuclear reactors. Their capacity to produce electricity is impressive. Just a few grams provide the energy yield equivalent to no less than a ton of coal. But if they were to fall into the hands of terrorists, these materials could have a devastating effect. They could be used to build a nuclear weapon. In Europe, the risk of nuclear materials being diverted from their intended peaceful purposes is extremely low compared to other regions of the world. But the danger still remains. These men are not the usual European officials. They're going to a nuclear power plant to check that the nuclear fuel declared by the operator is indeed there and kept under maximum surveillance. They're part of a corps of around 200 European inspectors. Highly qualified, equipped with dosimeters and specialist measuring apparatus, they regularly visit all the nuclear installations in the EU. Their job is to ensure that civilian nuclear material is not stolen and sold illegally or used for military purposes. The Euratom Treaty, one of the founding documents of the European Union, signed in 1957, established European nuclear safeguards. It charged the European Commission with the responsibility of monitoring all nuclear materials for civilian use on European Union territory. Mais la Commission a, a la charge de tenir une comptabilité très précise euh, des matières fissiles euh, dans tous les établissements et euh, par des contrôles sur place, des contrôles extrêmement approfondis, elle doit vérifier que ces matières sont utilisées conformément euh, aux déclarations euh, des responsables d'installations euh, nucléaires. The Euratom Treaty also imposes a whole raft of obligations on operators of nuclear facilities. The nuclear operators have to declare uh, a set of accountancy and technical data uh, to other services in, in the Commission. And uh, they also have to allow and to provide access uh, to our inspectors at any time, any place the Commission considers proper to perform its verifications. One of the places monitored by inspectors is the storage pond. Assemblies of spent nuclear fuel removed from the reactors continue to emit strong radiation and heat. That's why it's stored underwater. Inspectors check that no fuel rods are missing. These ponds, like other strategic places in the power plant, are monitored permanently by cameras installed by the European Commission. Another control tool are the seals, changed regularly by the inspectors themselves when they visit the installation. They protect areas and containers with sensitive contents and help to detect any unauthorized access or handling. In addition to the physical controls, a major part of the inspector's work is to verify the accounts of the nuclear material. Back in Luxembourg at the European Commission Inspectors HQ, every inspection mission begins and ends here. Here in the laboratories, the control equipment is prepared, information from the units is gathered, all the video recordings from the surveillance cameras are monitored, and the seals are checked. Before being put into position, the two parts of the metallic seals are marked on the inside with a unique indelible image. By comparing this image when the seal is opened, inspectors can tell whether or not it's been tampered with. On produit plus ou moins 15 000 seals dans l'année. Il y a des installations qui en a des milliers, il y en a des installations qui a des centaines, ça dépend de la grandeur de l'installation. Seals are put into place, but this time it's by inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency. This Vienna-based United Nations organization monitors all nuclear materials around the world. But the European Commission and the Vienna Agency work together on inspections in the European Union. European Commission nuclear controls cover all stages related to the electric power production. The cycle begins with the mining of uranium ores and finishes with the disposal of nuclear waste. But the same vigilance is necessary in other areas, for example, research reactors or the transport of nuclear materials. 
The size and level of each inspection varies according to the type of nuclear installation. There are two specific types of installation on European Union territory, four enrichment plants and two reprocessing plants, which house the largest quantities of uranium and plutonium. These sites are subjected to particularly rigorous inspection. La Hague in northwest France. This windy part of the Normandy coast is home to one of the strategic sites submitted to intense surveillance, a reprocessing plant. Spent fuel is brought here for the purpose of separating out the uranium and plutonium for recycling. With its capacity of 1,700 tons a year, the plant is able to reprocess the waste fuel from 100 or so reactors and to recycle several hundred kilos of nuclear materials. Here again, the job begins in the pond. This is considerably larger because it accommodates several hundred assemblies of spent fuel from reactors in Europe and Asia. The fuel rods are held in special baskets, 10 meters below the surface of the water, before being treated. To check them, the inspector has a special viewing device which allows him to see the electromagnetic rays emitted by spent fuel assemblies. L'opérateur nous donne une liste avec tous les, les éléments qu'il a dans la piscine et nous devons contrôler que tous ces éléments sont bien euh, là. The verifications are also carried out in other strategic places in the plant. Un des endroits principaux c'est l'entreposage du, du plutonium. Nous contrôlons toutes les comment dire les cuves principales de trans de nitrate d'uranyle. Nous contrôlons l'entrée de l'usine et la sortie de l'usine. 